hey guys i'm doing something different here <clears throat> i'm not on fst actually i do not have fst anymore as of the 15th of april because we're getting rid of this car baby and we're getting the new model y so no fst until saturday i'm gonna have my uh, model y limited series uh, one of the few that are left in montreal uh, so I thought I'm stuck here in traffic, bumper to bumper, and this is horrible. This this navigation system without FSD is actually, I mean, it's cruise control and it, it keeps the lanes pretty well, but it's so much worse than FSD. I can't even comprehend people who own Teslas who are not on FSD, please try it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, please try it. When you get the uh, free trial, try it. It's It's gotten so much better now, and especially bumper to bumper traffic. I'm, I'm gonna see if we ever get into the, a situation where if you're on this system, you're just gonna accelerate for no reason uh, while the cars are still bumper to bumper. Anyways, so I'm in traffic, bumper to bumper, and I was uh, thinking about some comments that I just saw on, on Twitter. Uh, people complaining about FST. And basically not complaining about FST, about uh, the, the future of FST and how long it's going to take for the self-driving to be actually useful and to have a robo-taxi system. I don't believe that you need a robo-taxi system. So this is the acceleration. What was that? Look at that. I guess it is following the car in front of me and it's doing the same speed as the car in front of me, but this guy is driving like an idiot. If he's, what are, why is he accelerating that fast? And then the car just follows. But FSD would not, it has a brain and it just, it speeds up like a, like a normal human. Anyways. So people are being upset. There's, there's a story now that Elon rejected the idea of the cheaper car because they're betting everything on self-driving and uh, there's a, a lot of comments on on twitter about people not being happy with that decision and they're saying how a cheaper car was needed how fsd is going to bring in revenue much later than uh, we anticipate uh, and i always like to see the other side of the argument which is in this situation, I do not believe that you need um, you need to have a robo taxi system once again for FSD to really start bringing in revenue for Tesla. I'm telling you guys, the second like the argument of putting my car for people to use and pick up people, random people, and then I have to clean my car and make money. I don't know if everyone wants to do that because it's still an expensive car. Unless it's your business, unless it's uh, something that you can do. We have we have multiple cars and you have a system where you can clean them. There's no point to do that uh, as someone who has a job and is living their life, okay? How will FSD unsupervised? So me, if I don't need to be sitting here, how much would I pay for that? It's not even possible to evaluate it, okay? Because we're probably forgetting so many... Um, so many parts to what makes uh, the utility of the car these days. I use my car to go to work and I go back home and the car just sits in my parking lot for the rest of the day, okay? And then if I have to go pick up um, someone, my family, my girlfriend, or if I have to go somewhere, then I take my car again and I go pick them up and I bring them back to their place and stuff like that. But now imagine you're a household of four people, okay? And you have teenagers that are driving themselves or you have you know so many households have three four cars now because every person needs a car just to go from work to and go back home now imagine instead of having five cars what if you only had one car that brings everyone to work comes back home takes the other person brings the other person to work and obviously if if this is if uh everyone's schedule is different right but a lot of families, once again, that don't need the car at the same exact time, and you can just have one car, 
do all the work for you and how much is that saving you say even 50% of the cars if you have four cars now you only need two okay with FST how much are you saving on a car in Canada about 50k a new car now um, so if a car is costing you less 50k less you're gonna have no insurance to pay for that car you're gonna have no maintenance to pay for that car all of those fees that add up which are not negligible you don't need as much parking space you know one parking could be good for two people all of those savings now you're in the 50 60 thousands okay in the lifespan of the car way more than that and that is only one side of the cube or whatever you want to call it it's only one this is only I'm analyzing one simple thing of how many cars are needed per family if you can cut them by half and it's saving you fifty thousand dollar this is now a software that it can be worth fifty thousand dollar now imagine if you can if you can work okay if I can work in the car if I can have privacy in my car imagine instead of doing this I can grab my phone again not everyone has a, a job that uh, they can do uh, you know on the go or uh, work from home type of jobs but many do uh, you have a lot of lawyers business people uh, maybe doctors that can that can work and they can get deals done they can get work done they can be productive Heck, even if you can just rest or sleep instead of going home and sleeping, that's going to be saving you so much money. And how much are you willing to pay that every day? Look at me. In traffic for 40 minutes, now I have to go home. Imagine I could be useful and do work and not be on behind the wheel. How much is that worth for you? It's unbelievable. It's going to be worth so much, in my opinion without even needing a robo taxi this is just a personal car that will take me home go grab my friends maybe go grab my girlfriend and i can be productive when i'm sitting on the other side and doing my work it can be worth so much more than what it's what people believe Is it going to happen next week? No. Is it going to happen in a year? Probably not. In two years, we're getting closer. Is it going to work in Canada as fast as it would in Texas where they're going to be launching it? No. We have snow. We have different issues here in Canada. We have the speed, uh, not the speed bumps. We have insane potholes that have to be dodged. So a lot of things that need to be fixed for this to work but it's only getting better and better and I really believe that it's going to happen imagine how much you can even if you're worth I don't know if you can work for $20 an hour okay and you're saving 30 minutes going to work, 30 minutes coming back, that's $20 an hour. Say you work five days, that's $100 per week. $20 times five. Say you work four weeks per month, that's $400 per month. If you can be more productive for $400 per month, are you willing to pay $400 a month extra for self-driving to take you some will say yes because they value their time some will say no because they don't value their time or they they can't get more job which is okay but a lot of people can and this is there's so much potential in this so much potential and this is only looking at a $20 job an hour job make it 40 an hour then how much can you do it's double that 80 and then believe me there's bankers and business people that are way above that $40 per hour 
and just imagine how much those people are willing to pay for a self-driving system that allows them to do their job done their job imagine going from montreal to ottawa and being able to sleep in the back of your car <sighs> or watching a movie being entertained while having your privacy imagine going out you don't need to uber anymore you don't need to have a designated driver all of that in one single car and one single software so you have one software that picks up your family picks you up brings you back home can pick up your friend at the same time all that during the day can make you productive when you're working can take you to other cities while you're resting or being entertained can take you out for a night if you're having drinks or if you're too tired to, to drive back home or if there's no parking spots okay how much are parking spots twenty dollar an hour for a parking spot uh, par i'm sorry twenty dollar twenty to thirty dollar per per night for a parking spot okay if you're saving I don't know, this is hard to say. Me, I really don't go out that much, so I can't say that I'm paying a lot for parking, but I guess maybe some people could go once a week, $20 a week, $80 a month, saved on parking. Now you can add that to your fees. Anyways, crazy guys. Uh, so if you have a Tesla, get FSD. I'm sure you can find the usefulness in it and you're just going to be excited about the future there's nothing not to be excited about it's it's going to be so fun i can't wait honestly i just i don't want to be behind this i want to be in the back and think about my stuff rest do work this is a pure waste of time and that's why i'm using it to film <laughs> okay all right so earnings coming up my car coming up I filmed uh, Ottawa to uh, Montreal, or uh, Montreal to Ottawa, no intervention. I'll upload that, and I'll see you guys, maybe if I pick up my car. Peace out.